All right, what is going on, guys? Today with Will. I got a lift. I broke my teeth in half. Yeah, he did. Um, today we are going to be buffing paint on the Ranger because it looks very bad. I'm going to use this fender as an example of paint that's already been buffed. It's really smooth. You can run your hand along it and don't feel anything. I have also done this door. You can tell because the paint is very shiny. There's some spots right here where I forgot to get, so that's just scratched in. And then there's just some little more spots uh, that I couldn't really get. Like this wouldn't buff out. And then what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be working on the back of the truck. We're going to be working on this panel. And then we're going to see if we can buff this out. Because it looks like his girlfriend got pissed off and keyed it or something. And then we're also going to be <laughs> doing okay. this door and then this fender. So... We are gonna be using. What are you wearing? Oh, it's a weight vest. I had my sweatshirt over it, but it's getting too hot out. <laughs> okay. So, we are gonna be using to polish this truck. We're gonna be using these automotive buffing pads that you just do by hand. We're gonna be using <laughs> Meguiar's compound and then uh, Meguiar's polish and then. A Meguiar's liquid wax. You want to rough up the paint to get all the contaminants out of it. Then you want to polish that paint that has now been decontaminated. And then you want to wax it so to give it that long shine that you want. So, yeah, I'll set you guys up on the tripod. And then we're going to do a time lapse of us buffing. And then I'll show you guys each panel. So, after our first compounding coat, this is now what it looks like. It's smooth to the touch, and it has uh, its shine back. <laughs> it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. <laughs> and then Will did this panel, and it looks just as good. After. <laughs> after some help, but you know. So now I'm gonna polish this side and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Who's your pilot's license? Okay. Right. This is now after a polish, as you can see from before. It's a lot shinier and just looks a lot better. So now I'm gonna move on to a liquid wax. Okay, now after doing the wax, you can see that it has a nice shine to it. Paint just looks a lot better than it did. And you can see the reflection right there. So, um, I think it looks really good. And then when you're on your hand over it, you don't feel any rough spots in it. Check out that reflection. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, now we're going to be focusing and moving on to this back panel, which as you can see is quite a bit more different. Um, I'm curious if some of this will come out. I don't think it will because like that one looks like it's down to bare metal. Oh yeah. And then there's these which I'm curious. I don't think these will come out. This is just clear cut scratches though, so mm -hmm. I might buff yeah, those that out. Might come out. Yeah, those I think will come out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That is a big hurt. We're gonna get started on that next.
Okay. After compounding this fender, it has gotten a lot smoother, but it didn't take out, it took out, there was a couple scratches here that it took out, but as you can see on camera, there's still some big ones, like right there. But, all looks fine, it's shinier. And then, this was the biggest one, that didn't happen. Oh, that's got a level attached to it? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, and then I'm gonna polish this now. because I'm neglecting to buy a card bigger than 16 gigabytes. Um, I've just finished polishing, polishing this fender completely. Um, next, I'm gonna wax this, and then I think in this video, we're gonna take this seat out, and then maybe figure out this issue with the seat belt, because it won't come out. Um, and we're gonna take out this seat belt and maybe just clean out the interior. But yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated once the exterior is all waxed. Okay, paint has now been buffed and completely finished. It's such a nice shine. Um, you can very easily see your reflection in it now. Okay guys, it is now the next day and I'm editing that video. And I realized that I did not film an outro, which I've made the mistake of doing now a couple times. Um, the truck ended up looking very good. It's very hard to see how good it turned out. If it would have been a black truck, then you could have very easily seen how well it turned out. But with it being red, it di you can't really tell on camera. If you're in person, you can vary. It's like, a, whoa, that looks way different. But um, I'm very pleased with how the results came out, especially by doing it by hand since I don't have a buffing wheel. Um, that fender, as you can see in the video, it started to kind of like dry up before I could get it all because I was starting to have, like my arm was starting to get really tired. It's a lot of work buffing paint by hand. But um, that is it. So thank you guys all for watching. Um, I think in our next video, we are gonna be taking out that seat, deep cleaning the interior, or we're gonna be attacking the reason why the window doesn't go up and down. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.